सो हाई डियर लीब्रा अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द लीब्रा सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जर्नल इट माई टू माई टोट रेजोनेट विद यू एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम एट टिल द फोर्टींथ ऑफ मे एंड थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फॉर दोज हु आर इन नो कॉन्टैक्ट और इन सेपरेशन राइट नाउ लेट सी लीब्रा द पर्सन दैट यू आर इन नो कॉन्टैक्ट विद और इन सेपरेशन विद देर करंट फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर लेट सी वट्स हैपनिंग we got ace of cups the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles hermit card so somebody is uh, like uh, silent with you complete silence there is no communication nothing is going on at all in the situation okay somebody is constantly thinking about the future direction of the situation somebody is using their wisdom their knowledge their lessons to approach uh, towards a direct towards a new direction in the situation between you and them so somebody doesn't feel like they should rush towards you they should uh, they should chase you they should run behind you or they should beg you no somebody feels like there should be a brand new uh, like a situation brand new opening up in the situation they feel like it's kind of a wish fulfillment for them to start a connection or relationship with you and they feel like this should happen with lots of maturity lots of uh, practicality and lots of uh, with lots of stability in some cases this person feels like they should come towards you uh, when they are going to be very rich and when they are going to be very very stable in their own energies financially also mentally and physically and emotionally also so somebody definitely feels like they they should open up to you they should be there should be a brand new beginning in the situation and they feel like uh, it's kind of a wish fulfillment for them to have a stable kind of relationship or connection or situationship with you but again this person feels like they should come towards you when they are going to be stable and grounded not with the this messy kind of energy hmm. in some cases this person is uh, feeling like they should wait until the time you are going to be very stable in your life financially and uh, uh, otherwise also then they feel like they should come towards you and uh, uh, propose you or ask for a connection or situation between you and them so take it however it resonates with you this could be your energy also taurus virgo capricorn cancer pisces scorpio or virgo you might be dealing with even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation we have the 2 of cups and the fool card and the 5 of swords okay page of swords this person wants to gather all the knowledge about you what you are up to whom you are dating whom you are meeting is there anybody else in your life or not uh like what you are going through in your personal life right now so they want to keep a uh, keep an eye on you they want to spy on you is uh, okay and this person wants to gather all the knowledge about the situation before taking any kind of action so they want to have this uh, soulmate kind of energy with you but before that they want to clear all the conflict the drama the fight the issues the competition that was going on in the situation okay they want to they want to start from the scratch from the clean slate you can say and this is somebody who definitely sees a soulmate connection a soulmate energy in the situation and they don't want to be a part of any kind of drama or competition but they are ready to uh fight for the situation they are ready to start from clean slate but before that they have to let go of lot of drama conflict and fight and issues there is there are lots of people involved in the situation it could be family member not uh, like getting ready for the for the situation it could be third party situation from both of your sides or uh, at least from one of you side one of your side okay either from your side or their side but i do see that somebody is willing to take the leap of faith in the uh, faith with you and willing to fight for this connection and make this a soulmate kind of energy but uh, before that they have to let go of a lot of shitty kind of things that's going on in the situation and it's happening at least from past 4 to 5 months they have to clear a lot of shit before they can they can come back to you or they think that you both have to clear a lot of shitty things to uh, come back together and have this soulmate kind of energy back in the situation okay this is what they want clean slate after this drama drama fight conflict whatever they want to clear each and everything with you and then they want to start from scratch you could be dealing with the aries leo sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only let's see what action is this person going to take towards you till the 14th of may if any
we have the king of swords the queen of swords the emperor nobody is going to take any kind of action in the situation both of you are going to behave like you don't you don't you guys don't give a shit to each other but both of you do okay especially you libra you are very concerned about the situation you want this situation to work out in your favor they also want it but right now this person is in this energy of give it a lot of time and space to heal let go of the situation completely let go of the pain completely i do see both of you are kind of a uh, mirroring each other it could be a twin flame connection also where you guys are mirroring each other in terms of your emotion and in terms of your actions also so i do see none of you doing and none of you is doing anything about the situation and you guys are in this energy of okay let me stay in my power why should i take the action why should i do anything about the situation if they are not doing it that kind of energy i'm picking from both of your side even if one of you is trying to you know connect with the other person they are not going to give you a very po positive response so i think for the time being you guys should uh, let it be the way it is don't try to manipulate it don't try to change it don't try to fix it just let it be the way it is and heal yourself and let uh, let's give this a lot of time and space so that it can be healed with time so you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius or aries energy or again gemini libra aquarius even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only okay please keep that in mind let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation here okay let's see we have uh, the knight of pentacles the king of cups and the six of swords in reverse okay so you have to take things really very very slow libra if you want this emotional happiness emotional fulfillment in your life okay especially in your relationships you have to let go of the past baggages you have to let go of the limiting beliefs that you have created in yourself regarding love and relationships and you have to slow down you have to be very very practical and grounded and very very stable in your energies so the more you are going to take your time the more you are going to be stable in your uh, in your energies the more you are going to be emotionally mature and the more you will be able to let go of the past baggages so it's all interrelated right so you have to slow down take things really very slow work on your emotions emotional maturity and emotional uh, um, stability and let go of the past baggage slowly but surely so these three all of these three are uh, these three things are connected so do it uh, step by step you are already doing it i know that you are already doing it uh, doing it but uh, just do it <laughs> with a little more energy of uh, okay i'm on the right track okay honey so thank you so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste